All right, guys, welcome back to SG Nation. I'm Rashon and Jumper, and today I am going to react to Overlord Season 4, Episode 3. Like I announced in the in the comment uh, tab, it's uh, this week. Uh, this week's reactions are going to be late or uh, done on the next morning because I work late shifts. That being said, let's uh, talk about Overlord. Uh, previous episode in Episode 2, uh, we saw how how Albedo, uh, uh, you know, took a visit to the to the Re Estes uh, kingdom to begin uh, diplomatic, uh, you know, uh, things to do. I don't know uh, with uh, with these guys, and uh, then you know we encounter a scumbag who thought that he can court Albedo, uh, by which she she was disgusted to hell. Um, and uh, yeah, then then we heard a conversation in in her room that she was staying in. Uh, the princess showed up. She's uh, her puppet, and the puppet has a puppet as well. So interesting things are happening. Uh, to be honest, if Eins you know is up to it, he could just annihilate everything. But that's not what he wants. Um, we want uh, our basically the the guys who want to live in the in the sorcerer kingdom uh to, to show them basically that they don't have to fear anything uh and you know like with the death knights that pro that are protecting the, the the kingdom and and so on and so on um going into that let's see what episode three has to offer for us um if we'll see some funny shit like like uh uh, the sniffing stuff in the episode one and in uh, episode two, uh, where Albedo was disgusted by this guy. Surely there will be something to to look up to, funny, and maybe we'll see some action as well. That being said, let's jump into the reaction. <laughs> I think I'll, I think Albedo can, can defend herself. ディニールゴスの考えは知りたいけど絶対なる支配者である俺から教えてくれと聞くわけにはいかないよな最後に一つ言っておく季節の変わり目は風を引きやすい病気に対する完全体制があっても <laughs> Alright guys, this was season 4, episode 3 of Overlord, and yeah man, come on, Elnix is in a tough spot here, uh, Eins made him look like a traitor, and uh, the one selling out his guys for the sake of the country, and um, I, I get them, you know, they went there, a, a coincidence, you know, uh, from, from their side seems a bit... Two, two good plans to be true, but you know, it's Ions, man. He knows stuff, he knows when to appear, he knows how to do this. Um, they even kept it uh, as a surprise wh who the warrior king is fighting against. So, uh, these are not just things that uh, happen out of, of a surprise or a co coincidence, they're well planned, and he's a master of planning. Come on, man. Um, Adding to that, we also have, uh, at first, we have uh, the goodbye kiss uh, from Ainz to Albedo, which came as a surprise because he normally doesn't take an action, you know, in this sort of, of uh, uh, things, but, um, you know, it was sweet to see how she reacted, man. You know, adding adding towards that, we have the meeting from the, from the temple pr uh, priests, uh, which was interesting to hear some things. You know, uh, the godkin that maybe are able to go up against hundred death knights. This is interesting. We haven't seen these two guys, I think, in three seasons so far. If I'm wrong, please tell me because I can't remember. Um, and yeah. So basically, Ainz is going up against the Warrior King, who is an orc, uh, and come on, man. I don't know if it could be any race. Just having a, a freaking armor as, as an orc isn't going to make you defeat Ainz. There is no way in hell. He could blast you with a fire spell, you would melt under this armor, and the fight would be over. And you would be dead. So... 
so many things are going on here. Uh, the funny thing um, that, that was this episode, Ainz is so mighty, man. He He's just, you know, um, in the air behind Elnix with, with the guys on uh, in the VIP lounge and he's like, yo, what's up, man? Long time no see. Call me master. <laughs> oh, so good, so good. He he's uh, he's just a supreme lord, man, and uh, nothing comes comes um, quite quite near this. And it's just eins, man. It's eins. Um, that being said, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on the notifications bell, leave a like, leave a comment, man. For more videos, click on the info card above, which you will find um, here. And there is a playlist, a video you can watch and re-watch how much you like. Uh, it's for you to decide. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, link in the description. And yeah, man, I would say we see each other to the next re reaction, which should be um, Isekai Oji-san either uh, Wednesday Wednesday night or, or uh, Thursday in the morning. Let's see how I come home and then uh, the situation. Um, but yeah, that should be the next reaction. Look forward to it. I am because it's freaking funny. And yeah, see you at the next video.